Hi guys and welcome back for another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial video. In this video we're going to handle the act of sprinting. To do this we need to be using our character and opening our character blueprint. But this code can be used for any character that you have playable in your game. So to achieve this we need to first of all set up a sprint function or sprint event sorry. And the input action event we want to create is made through the edit, uh, edit window here to project settings. Inside your project settings on the left hand side you'll see the option for input. Choose this to access to your action mappings and access mappings. You want to create a new action mapping. So click on new action mapping and type in sprint as a name. The key we're going to use is going to be the left shift. And if you also want to do gamepad support here we can add gamepad support by clicking on the plus and adding the left thumbstick button as the option there. Now it's an action mapping because it's either off or on, you're either sprinting or you're not, much like the jump and the fire. Once we're done here we can close our project settings. Now open up your first person character and in here we're going to create two functions to join our sprint. So create a new function in your functions list on the left hand side and we'll name this one start sprint and make another function and call it on stop sprint. We're also going to need two new variables so click on the new variable and call it walk speed and you'll make this variable type of float. Now make another variable and this one is sprint speed. Again a variable type of float. Hit the compile button and now we need to enter our default values for our sprint speed and walk speed. Our sprint speed we're going to make 1000 and our walk speed we're going to make 600 which by the way is a default value in our character movement component. Go into your start sprint function and then from there we're going to drag our character movement component into the uh, graph, drag from that pin and set the max walk speed of our character. Now because this is a start sprint we want to set the max walk speed to match our sprint speed value. So drag your sprint speed value out, choose get and plug that in. We now want to do the exactly the same but using walk speed on our stop sprint. So drag your character movement out, set max walk speed and plug that in. This time using the walk speed as the variable instead. Click compile. Go back to your event graph and right click anywhere to add that sprint input action that we made earlier in our uh, project settings. On unpressed we want to use the start sprint and on release we want to use stop sprint. Click compile and let's test that out. So here I am walking at normal speed, hold down left shift and I'm now sprinting around the map. Now you can go one step further and you can add stamina bars, visual effects like uh, uh, particles and post processes. You can do whatever you like but here's the basics of getting your character to actually move faster when you hold down left sprint. Now because it is a function uh, we can easily do various other things to it as well. So for example when we spawn a projectile or shoot our gun we want to tell it to stop sprinting. So we can't shoot and sprint at the same time. Click compile and it's as simple as that. So when I'm running around if I shoot it will stop the sprint even though I'm still holding down the left shift key. That's because I have to press it to activate it. And that'll do for this episode. Thanks very much for watching. If you like this episode and you like more I do, make sure to subscribe to the channel. And if you really like what I do, please support, consider supporting me over on patreon.com forward slash Ryan Laley, where your just $1 will help me out massively and give in return you get access to videos two months earlier before anyone else, access to Discord, and many other benefits as well. Big shout out and thank you to everyone who supported me thus far. And I can't forget those who support me at the top tier. Thank you very much for all your support 
you guys are making me one step closer to making this my uh, lifetime job of making these videos. So thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching.